Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Welcome to this prophetic channel. Welcome to Fresh World with Apostle Samuel E. Molombe. If you're new here, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man God uses. I welcome you today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you're family, you're always watching our videos. Thank you. God bless you in Jesus' name. God took this thing they did to you very personal. God took it very, very personal. And he says that he's, he's come to respond, to reply. Remember, a while ago, I believe it's, yeah, a little while ago, I put out a prophetic word. And in that word, I, I told us that God is slow to anger. So sometimes he pushes your enemy and hardens their heart to have an avenue to destroy them. Hmm. I had a lot of emails and, and some people would say, no, I never, I never saw it like that. Yeah, it's true. So sometimes God will, will give an instruction or give a command and the people will, uh, they will, he, he will go ahead and harden their heart so that when their heart is hardened, he will have an opportunity to destroy them. You know, so, you know, yeah. Uh, if you think about it, you will understand why Sometimes you're praying for certain things to stop and you're like, why are these people so persistent in their attacks? Sometimes God hardens their heart to let them continue afflicting you. So in your affliction, you got to be angry at the fact that you are being afflicted and he will deal with them. So there's a situation where in the scriptures, you know, God gives Moses an instruction. And Miriam and Aaron think that Moses is not doing that instruction and they began to think Moses is full of himself and they began to say who, do he, who does he think he is and all kinds of stuff that they were saying against Moses and in, in that God, God was angry and he came down and spoke to them and they said gather yourselves here he says if there be any prophet among you I speak to them in visions and dreams but to my, my servant Moses I speak to them I speak to him as a man speaks to his friend I was reading that and I received this prophetic word that God has taken their insults personal. He has taken their attacks against you very personal. And he's not letting you, you know, do the talking anymore. He's coming down himself to be able to address these people who have risen up against you. Now, if your enemy is a man, you can run to God. If your enemy is the devil, you can run to God. But if your enemy is God, where can you run to? If a man is fighting you, God can help you. If the devil is off after you, God can help you. But if God is after you, who can help you? So, family, I want you to understand that God has taken personally the attacks that were launched against you. It's enough. He's done. He's, he's up now to handle it by himself. He's up to handle it by himself. He has, they have touched the core of your calling. They have touched something that he has risen up. They have tampered with his jealousy. You know, let me, let, me, let me give this prophetic word in this, with this scenario. Let me, let me paint this picture so you can see. Imagine a man who loves his wife so much and will not let anything hurt his wife. And, you know, they go out and they're in the park or they're somewhere around, you know, just, yeah, having some cool family time. And somebody comes and, you know, takes the, the, the coffee in his hand or the bubble tea, whatever he's drinking, and pour it on his head, the head of the man. He's, he's going to be like, yo, what's going on? Why do you do that? And maybe he might choose to forgive that person, you know. Just say, you know what? Go, go with your trouble. But the guy goes ahead, takes the one of the wife, pours it on the wife's head, and slaps the woman. Oh, 
the angry husband stands up and says, you know what? If you pour that on me, I could forgive you. But if you go towards my wife, I mean, I can't, I can't take that. I'm going to, because I have to protect her and all of that. It's the same thing with God. We are, number one, the bride of Christ. You're not anything else. You're not somebody trying to. You are God's bride. Right? Who in the world will see his wife being abused by someone else and stays quiet and is fine with it? The Lord says he has watched them over time build up all kinds of abuse, insult, persecution. And he's been quiet. He says, but now there's something they have done and he's taking it personal. This is too personal. This is too personal. He's taking it literally like too personal. And he's saying he cannot sit down and watch this happen. So what is going to happen is that you are going to watch how God will intervene on your behalf. God will break walls, climb mountains. God will overrule and overturn to come in your favor because they have tampered with his pride. The Bible says it clearly that as they go from place to place, he suffered no man to do them wrong. I love that scripture. And if you've been on this platform, you know that I sincerely love that scripture. I quote it a lot. He said he reproved kings for their sake, right? Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. There's a divine verdict on those who have risen up against you. There's a divine verdict. They have attracted God's anger. They have attracted God's anger. And God is saying he will deal with them because they have risen up against you. What do you have to do? Just like what Moses said to the children of Israel, stand still and see the salvation of God. Salvation is coming to you this season. Salvation is coming to you this season. I want you to believe it because it's happening. Salvation is coming to you. Hallelujah. It, it's, I feel a relief giving out this prophetic word that he has taken this particular thing that they have done so personal. So back to very certain, um, um, you know, personal word. Maybe something just happened recently and you received insults from from maybe um, um, the relatives or from the place of work. But what I, what I perceive is this is what has been happening, right? The same people have been doing stuff, but they have done their worst in this season. And because they have done their worst in this season, it has attracted divine ven justice, anger, vengeance. God is saying, I want to replay, I want to repay them with their own coins. And you'll see how that they will begin to fight themselves and how that they will be scattered because of you. How God will scatter a people because of you. There are people who come together to form a demonic alliance against the people of God. But the truth is in this season, you will see how God will fight for you. I pray that the word of the Lord will come to pass in your life. I pray that everyone that has risen against you in judgment, that the Lord will raise a standard against them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. And the Lord give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you. And shalom.